To get Bitcoin and ETH exposure in my Roth IRA, I bought shares of GBTC, which is now at a 50% loss, and ETH that is even more in the red. Since no spot Bitcoin ETF seems imminent and grayscale fees are significant, is it wiser to sell at a steep loss and move to a faster horse or to keep them in the grayscale funds? Well, if you guys know me by now, never more than 10% in a proxy um, unless you're looking for trouble. So be careful of that. Let's look at the discount first. I'm just going to focus on GBTC. I know the ETH discount is even higher, but currently the grayscale Bitcoin, Bitcoin Trust discount or premium to net asset value is minus 42.34%. And it's off the lows. We hit nearly 50% way back late December. And uh, it had another dip back in Feb. But since then, it has been kind of recovering. So <clears throat> there's a couple of questions here that we need to focus on. First of all, let's look at what's going to happen. Now, you've heard me say all this before, but I'll say it again. So the fact that the futures Bitcoin trust, uh, the futures product is approved, but there's no spot product. That's just ludicrous. And Hester Pierce is pro spot ETF, and she just got a new five year term. And Gary Gensler only has 16 more months left in office. So something's going to give. The question is when? Is it one year, four months from now, a little bit sooner, a little bit later? There's also a grayscale case against the SEC. And it's only a matter of time. People are now plucking up the courage to sue the SEC in multiple cases. And this is kind of good because the SEC has kind of like poked the hornet's nest and all these hornets flying out and attacking it, which is good. And we know from the XRP Ripple case how long it takes to prosecute these things. It takes forever and ever and ever. So with that, what's going to happen? I think it will be approved. The question is, I don't know when. Probably within a year and a half, uh, I reckon. Once Gary's gone, it'll be one of the first pieces of order. And also by that time, because it'll correspond with the Bitcoin halving, price will be going crazy too. So there'll be a lot of demand to get this stuff done. So in the meantime, you got to look at fees. So I'll put together a little piece here. Yes, you're dead right. Fees can reduce returns over time. And yes, 2% is hefty, but it's actually more than 2% because the effective annual fee... And this is why that grayscale thing is such a money spinner for grayscale is 2%. But because that has a 42% discount, div that by 100, you get an effective fee of 3.4%. A lot of people don't know that. And it may come as a bit of a shock to some of you out there. So that's why I always say never have more than 10% in proxies. Um, but here, the discount is likely to narrow. Again, once we get wind that it will move to a spot ETF. So that's kind of good news. Let's look at exactly... The counterpoint to this, yeah, you can avoid fees, but that 42% discount is actually kind of juicy, which means you can actually buy one Bitcoin for $14,814 instead of over sixteen or 26000 right now as we speak. It's gone up a little bit. Um, and we have this model here in the community. It works for all the trusts as well. So basically, you need 1,094 GBTC shares to have one Bitcoin to be a whole coiner. And, uh, you know, it's good to do it in retirement accounts. What you could also do as well is you could swap between assets, kind of like pair trade them, get in and get out after a bump. And that way you can maximize your bag in a tax-free account. But to be honest, even at 3.4% fees, compare that to the 42% discount, it would take years for that to be eaten away. So... I uh, would say kind of pair trade it, increase your bag size, get out of your hole, but selling it at this discount uh, and especially at a big loss may not make sense. I think, again, 16 months, 20 months, 18 months, something in that time frame on the outside, we should get that spot ETF approved. And when that happens, the discount will go away.